with breaking news out of Warwick, where the school committee has just approved their budget, and that means the elimination of funding for sports, clubs, books, and a whole list of items to make up for an $8 million budget deficit. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. As you can imagine, the announcement is not sitting well with some students and parents who showed up to tonight's committee meeting. But one school committee member said tonight they had no choice. Iowa News reporter Sheena Lushuto is live in Warwick with the latest. Sheena. Well, I actually just spoke with Mayor Solomon on the phone, and he tells me that he's been informed that the school committee plans on suing the city over this budget. As you can imagine, people left this meeting very mad. According to Warwick superintendent, as of right now, after this meeting, all sports in Warwick will be cut. Many students got up very mad and upset. We even heard from Gianna Sorella's sister, Cassie. She told the crowd just how much her soccer team meant to her after her sister died. I just can't, it hurts my heart so much. I'm just crying. I just, I, on behalf of everybody here, you've ruined our schools. My name is Jalen Wellington and I cheer and you just cut my sport. My name is Gila Pillier. I play field hockey, track, and lacrosse, and you just cut my sport. Pilgrim and Tollgate were brought together to support each other. And I was shown more support from them than I think I will ever see in my life. Other teams from all over Rhode Island have messaged my family and sent us things and held games from my sister to show us support up until this day. Without my sports, I don't think I would have made it through the hardest year of my life. We had to cut textbooks, uh, teacher training, sports, teacher assistance, all things we need desperately. I'm heartbroken. This is just horrible. And we have to protect our kids' education, and that's what I have to explain to these kids, that even if we're giving money, they'll say, oh, we'll play for sports because that's the good political move for them. We can't use it for that when we're cutting TAs and things like that. Now, all of the school committee members said they did not want to do this, but by law, they have to balance the budget. Now, when I talked with the mayor, he says he still wants to find a way to keep sports in schools, but he was hoping that the city and school department could come to an agreement during mediation. And school committee members say they will keep fighting. They want to find a way to keep sports in schools and get funding back for not only schools, not only sports in schools, but other programs that they had to cut as well well. For now, reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Lushuto, Eyewitness News. Tonight with breaking news out of Warwick, where the school committee has just voted to cut funding for sports, teacher assistance, clubs, books, and a whole list of items to make up for an $8 million budget deficit. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. The announcement, as you can imagine, is not sitting well with some students and parents who showed up to tonight's committee meeting. But one school committee member said tonight they had no choice. Iowa News reporter Sheena Lushuto is live in Warwick with the latest. Well, I actually just spoke with Mayor Solomon on the phone tonight. He tells me the school committee has informed him that the school committee will be suing the city over the budget. He found out right after the meeting. Now, several students and parents were here tonight. They were not happy with this news. I just can't, it hurts my heart so much, I'm just crying. I just, I, on behalf of everybody here, you've ruined our schools. My name is Jalen Wellington, and I cheer, and you just cut my sport. My name is Jalen Pillier, I play field hockey, track, and lacrosse, and you just cut my sport. The Warwick School Committee approved a list of budget cuts Tuesday night, eliminating all sports and several other programs. I'm heartbroken. This is just horrible. And we have to protect our kids' education, and that's what I have to explain to these kids, that even if we're giving money, they'll say, oh, we'll play for sports because that's the good political move for them. We can't use it for that when we're cutting TAs and things like that. By law, the school department has to balance the budget. The city is offering about $8 million less than what the school department is asking for. We had to cut textbooks, uh, teacher training, sports, teacher assistance, all things we need desperately. We spoke with Mayor Selliman right after the vote. He tells Eyewitness News he is still fighting to find a solution to keep sports in schools. School committee members made it clear they didn't want to have to make these cuts. Gianna Sorella's sister, Cassie, told the crowd just how much soccer meant to her after the Warwick teen passed away. Pilgrim and Tollgate were brought together to support each other and I was shown more support from men than I think I will ever see in my life. 
other teens from all over Rhode Island have messaged my family and sent us things and held games from my sister to show her support up until this day. Without my sports, I don't think I would have made it through the hardest year of my life. Now, school committee members said over and over again tonight they will keep fighting for more funding in schools, not only for sports, but for several other things they had to cut. And when I talked with the mayor on the phone, he said several times to me he wants to find a way to keep sports in schools. He says he will also keep fighting to find a solution. He says the budget may be done, but the door is not closed on getting more funding for sports. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.